All right, so this is a video, a general video of uh, introducing new coral to your aquarium. Um, basically, I just went out to a few different stores, checked out their tanks, made sure that the corals, all of them look good. You can't buy corals from a tank that has half dead ones because it could be a parasite or a bug or something on the coral. So the first thing I did was check out all the corals in the tank. Then I selected corals that are basically very compatible with the ones I have. Um, I'm doing an acro tank, so most of the corals I got are LPS, SPS, and I know most people don't recommend it, but I also got some zooanthids, but I'm putting those all on the floor. This is a bare bottom tank, so I plan on having um, some zooanthids covering the glass in the bottom. Uh, I bought, let me see if I can show you a general video of what I got. So I got a nice type of acro right there. Got a trumpet with about 12 heads on it. Got a war coral. It's like a chalice type thing. I got a glow stick acro right there. You're not going to see them, so there's no point in me continuing. There's some zoanthid, some whisker corals, duncans, whatever you call them. Another type of SPS. And uh, I got a plate coral in there. That's my uh, lionfish. My friend gave it to me to put on my tank. So let me just introduce that real quick. It represents my company, www.volatinlongisland.com. As I've said many times, I'm an aquarium and pond servicing company. This is my personal tank. I'm experimenting with high-powered LEDs. These are the PAR 38s from Ecozotic. Uh, while you're seeing this, you might also want to take note of the plastic that I've put on there. I've also put it on the inside perimeter of the tank just to reduce evaporation and uh, you have to have a little drip drip spot so you can't have the water just sit there you have to be able to run it off be careful when you do stuff like that um, yeah so when introducing new coral to the tank the main things is acclimation by temperature salinity and basic water chemistry so when I brought them home I brought them in a styrofoam because it's like 20 degrees outside in New York right now this is like middle of January so I brought them in there and I put them in the tank to float. It's only been half an hour since I got I left the store. The temperature didn't drop that much in the water, in the bags. I'm going to leave them to float for 20 minutes. So the first thing you do is just throw them in the tank, forget about them for 20 minutes. And patience is, can go a long way in this hobby. You know that if you rush an acclimation, you probably will kill your coral. Maybe not right away, but within a week, two weeks, it'll start showing it's not doing well. After I acclimate them, I open up all the bags. They're, I bag them myself at the stores. Uh, most of the stores out here pretty much know me. But uh, I just bag them myself. It's easy to open the, the knots. I do a single, it's a weird way, but you just pull them open, they open. Um, I also have a clamp that I use. After I open up all the bags, I clamp them to the side of the tank, like that, all of them in one. And I dip them, I do about you want to be serious it's like a quarter of a cup dip you just put your hand in there and you get some water in the bags and you clamp them to the top and let them sit there for another 20 minutes that way some of the pH and salinity and calcium whatever is in the, my water could adjust to their water you do that at 20 minutes you wait 20 minutes and you do the same thing again for another 20 minutes you dip it again get some more water in the bags and wait 20 minutes total time so far is an hour because you have like 20 minutes temperature 20 minutes first dip 20 minutes second dip after that, you most people like to just go ahead and put them in. I kind of like to do a third dip, or just leave them in there for like an hour. Or if you if you don't have time, you don't. I don't always do it, but if I'm bored, I'm playing my Xbox, my new Christmas TV. I'll just play and just leave them alone. I have no time. You know, I don't. I'm not pressured right now. But let's just skip that part. Let's say after the one hour, the first one hour, you can go ahead and lower your corals down. Um, here's a tricky part. When using high-powered lighting like metal halides or LEDs in this case, you have to be careful about killing your corals with too much light. You have to know the tank that they came in, the position of the tank they came in, and the position of the tank you're going to put them in now. You can't just go ahead and put like an acro that was at the top of the tank in the tank you bought it from and place it on the bottom of your tank. It's not going to work. Same with the, the vice versa. So. Generally speaking, the SPS, you just put them towards the top, you put the zoo ends towards the bottom, and play along like that. I also use epoxy on my, my corals when I buy them. Um, if you're new to the hobby, I wouldn't recommend epoxying right away. 
I would recommend uh, acclimating first, like leave them in a position of your tank for about two weeks, see how they do. If they don't die, then you could go ahead and epoxy them in. Other than that, you know, if you if you know what you're doing, just epoxy them the way you want them. Um, sometimes you might not want to just put them straight to a dry piece of rock. You might want to put them on a rubble rock and stick that rubble rock somewhere where it'll fit if you have to move it around a bit. But I, I have a good vision of what I'm doing, so I'll, I'll know where to put everything. Um, for acclimating purposes, it's better, it's, yeah, usually better to put the corals in and under your full lighting towards the end of the day, the end of the cycle for lighting, so that the lights will shut off and that the corals will have less to worry about, less uh, to adjust to during the 12-hour nighttime period. They'll just have to worry about water parameters and get used to that. Then the next day, the next day they'll go ahead and uh, get better adapted to the lighting. So if you're buying a new coral, don't put them in right away. Like let let the light shut off soon before you settle them in so that they don't get bleached by too much light. Um, I did that problem with this chalice type coral over here. It was a lot greener when I got it, but I kind of bought it in early daytime and I put them in. And he was in a highlight situation before, and I put him back there again, but he didn't like the LEDs too much. But, you know, he's not dead. It's been two weeks, so I'm assuming he'll come back. It's probably just a little shock. So this is a six and a half minute video. It's the longest I've had so far. I'm sorry that I blabbered on. Uh, please press like and check out my website if you can. I email. Uh, you can email me questions. I'll answer promptly, maybe like two days the latest. But, yeah. You can check out the other videos for the setup I'm running with the skimmer, Ecotech pump, Ecosotic Par 38s, my my custom uh, filtration system. So just let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.